Of course, it's 6 p.m. on a Tuesday. That means here on 21 6 of that, it's time for your home with Bremer and Jones. Your host, Don Bremer, and host, Kent Jones, and special guest, Bill from Bill's Decorating. Yeah. Welcome in. You're listening to 21 6 and Ed. I'm Jones. I'm Bremer. He's Bremer. Uh, he's Bill. Uh, <laughs> today, uh, we. Oh boy. <laughs> and it starts. A double BJ. That's, oh, That's right, right? Oh, my God. Bill, Bill Bremer and Jones. That's right. Yeah. Where's our HR department? That's right. I don't, what are you talking about? It's, you all have to report. Uh, sure there we go. Start with those two. Are we live? We are, we've been Whoops. live. <laughs> is this like a Zoom meeting? Take two. I, yeah. Is this on? Can you? <laughs> so uh, we got Bill Whitey. Yes, sir. That's how you say that. W e y d e. Correct. Whitey of Bill's, Bill's decorating, decorating and construction services. So uh, it, when when we when we hear the name Bill's Decorating and Construction Services, tell us a little bit about what you do really quickly, so that everybody who's listening in then will have a gist of this show. We are a complete full service uh, remodeling company, residential and commercial. How's that? In a nutshell. Beautiful. Big jobs, little jobs. Short Do table. not like decks. You got it. Decks, correct. There's not a lot of money in them. Not a lot of money, a lot of inspections, a lot of time wasted building. Oh so, my yes. gosh, there is a lot. But I do have a deck question. Sure. Would you replace a board or two if you were working in another job? Absolutely. So yeah. you would do board replacement. Sure. Thank you. Yes. I for the a record, for you on that later. Yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> nice little, <laughs> nice, a nice little something, <clears throat> something right? a little four right. foot section. She so, <laughs> so, <laughs> is, so Bill's decorating has been around for how long? How many? Years? Uh, this is our thirtieth year in business. Thirtieth wow. year. Wow. Tell us how it got started. Yeah, I was a bit of a baby. My mother and I started out. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was born at a young age. I was young a age baby. Farm. <laughs> Small farm. Um, I started out, uh, I was a superintendent for a larger company, and I felt I could do it better. Okay. And I decided uh, with my last paycheck, I would do that. And I started out by myself and did it at the tender young age. And uh, I don't know that I would do it again now that I've been down the road, down the path, but I would be too afraid to do it now. But when you're young and fearless, it's the best what, time what to do it. I'm just doing somebody watch following. party real quick. Yeah, he's oh, okay. got a friend. Maybe explain that so you're not no, being I'm rude listening. to my guest. I will. Well, I'm well, just saying. No one would know. <laughs> no one. We, We're we on we the do. radio. Anyway, focus, <laughs> on, focus on the co-host that cares. Yes. So, the co Oh, so, that's the yes, that's right. <laughs> Ignore you. Just our show. So, did, was it always named Bill's Decorating? Yes. Um, we started out, uh, I started out as a, um, a union painter, skilled skilled painter, journeyman. Uh, took off from there. I hired a couple carpenters, and then it evolved to a full service construction company. Uh, we brought on some drywallers. We brought on, uh, we teamed up with a great roofing company. We teamed up with some excellent subcontractors. And uh, throughout the years, we've developed a really good relationship with all these subs and just developed a very efficient system for remodeling and building. That's awesome. Yeah. So what's your favorite project to work on? Favorite projects, the one where I get the creative control, where they... Um, you know, a customer just buys a new house or they've got, you know, they've been there a while, they, they want to expand their space, their family dynamics change, and they want you know, a bigger kitchen, more of a wide open room, or they need, you know, the mother-in-law arrangement. And they kind of give me creative control and it works really well. It's, it's fun to create the new spaces and solve their, their housing need. That's cool. Uh, hey, guys, all the way from Tennessee, from Stephanie Conley. Hey, Steph. <laughs> she got stuck there. Maybe she. I, that's a nice place to be stuck at. So, Down by do, you, yeah. Do you have a designer? Is it you? Tell us about that. Um, a lot of times it is uh, just me. We do work with other interior decorators. We work with a lot of architects. We do work with some structural engineers. So, our business comes either from word of mouth or from a referral from an interior decorator. Um, a lot of times. 
it depends on the marketplace or the community we're working in. Um, some folks are more comfortable doing their own creative, their own design. Other folks like to hire architects or designers. I've always wanted to know this. So <clears throat> if somebody came up with a grand idea and okay. they are, this is what they want and they call you out there, do you tell them, yeah, that's not going to work? It's you, this is a wall you can't move. This is like, how do you handle that kind of a thing? It actually happens quite a bit. Um, we have the time and money conversation. And if they've got more time than money, then the project usually doesn't go very far. If they've got a good balance of time and money and a realistic scope, we typically can make it happen. Um, some things are just unrealistic. Sometimes it's a point where maybe you should look to maybe buy another house. If we're talking a grandiose room addition, that's just going to be the biggest house in the neighborhood. We have that conversation. Um, but yeah, we'll walk them down the path and, you know, there's, there's no wall that can't be moved. There's no structure that can't be redesigned to support any idea. It's just a matter of how much time, time money, engineering you want to put into right. it. Right. Yeah, so. I had a, the reason I asked that is because I once, uh, last year had a house that somebody asked me to sell that they had put a master bedroom addition on top of a garage. Mm -hmm. It was a gorgeous house. They remodeled everything and they built this beautiful master with no bathroom. Yikes. And Whoops. <laughs> he called the contractor and I was like, uh, <clears throat> why are there two ginormous closets, but where's the bathroom? He's like, it wasn't on the guy's idea and he didn't say anything. I was what? like, well, maybe you should have said, hey, would you like a master? So <laughs> yeah. would you have said to them, hey, if you're building this thousand square foot addition for a master, maybe you should put a bathroom in it? Absolutely. Yeah, we do. A fair amount of handicap remodeling is our uh, population ages. That's becoming more and more of a Kent, request. Pay attention. Kent, we'll be coming to your house next. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, so that comes into consideration, you know, wheelchair access and various things. So common sense is a big part of re any remodel, as you know. Nice. Very interesting. Now, when, now when, when we talk about a remodeling now, um, in the last <clears throat> few years, uh, the DIY programs, the big, fancy, you know, Ty Pennington comes in. <laughs> Ty, how are you? I know you're listening. Come on, uh, that's my Ty, house. <laughs> Ty, Ty comes in and he builds your house in a week. I love that. Um, I, you know, uh, Jojo and Chip, you know, they they get the the worst house in the best neighborhood, and <laughs> in in a matter of an hour, uh, have this house completely done with shiplap and the whole works. Right, right. right. <clears throat> how much is that? dug into your business do you think it's definitely been ingrained in the culture um we do have more talk about timeline now than ever before sure. and timeline expectations you know you can't turn a kitchen in a week you know they have to have lead time we have to get the canvas designed and a lot of times we won't even start the job until all the supplies are on site yeah. and that seems to kind of bring reality home for most people that, wow, it took us 12 weeks to get our cabinets, you know? Oh, okay. So those shows aren't that right. legit in timelines. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. And do, do you find that, that the business has more of your bit, have you lost more business or have you got more repair business <laughs> because of the DIYers? More repair business. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of talent out there and sometimes the the easy access of nail guns and uh, skill saws table saws yeah. without a lot of training has hurt a lot of homeowners that probably shouldn't be using those types of tools oh, what, oh you got to tell us what's the craziest thing that you have had to repair <laughs> A broken marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Um, there's been some pretty horrific deck projects. We've oh. we've had plenty of decks that have fallen off houses that we've had to go fix that were not properly anchored. Mm. We've had plenty of leaky bathtubs and showers that homeowners put in and don't properly connect yeah. up. So, yeah, a lot of, yeah, nothing catastrophic too bad, but, you know, just subtle things. Putting in a bathtub and then, like, eating dinner, like, Later, mm, the bathtub falling the kitchen table. Yeah, yeah. Kind of fun. It's money pit. It is a money pit. Your garage doors that they didn't put the correct header across, and the whole door is yeah. bowing down, and they don't understand why. And yeah, so there's been some interesting yeah. stuff. So out. YouTube is not the key to DIY projects. <laughs> <laughs> it has its place, sure. Well, it's comedy. Well the, yeah. well, the interesting thing, right, is um, 
you can also go to YouTube and, and learn how to, you know, uh, remove a cataract, right? I mean, you can sure. see that. You're certainly not going to do that. So it's so it's interesting what a lot of American people think and is okay. This is my house, uh, and I can repair this. I I'm I'm a banker. I've never done anything in in my life to to think that I could repair it. But I saw it on, uh, you know, YouTube. And I think I got this. And uh, but you wouldn't necessarily. I, I won't do surgery on myself. So the interesting thing is why why are people trying to do surgery on their home? That's True. a great right? analogy. That's a good well, analogy. That's a really good one. Right? He's on it today. And, and so thank you. That's it for me, folks. Get this guy a tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, seriously, that's what happens when you take that's a vacation a, and you abandon your co-host last it. week. Oh, where did you go? Uh, down yeah. to Florida. Nice. It's beautiful. Down nice. south. Okay, very good. COVID, uh, it, they're, they're, it's not there. Not there. No, no, beaches are safe. Oh, well, it was for me, of course, while you're out. Well, never mind. That's a whole different story. <laughs> Wrong beach. Tune in to what's in your loaf. <laughs> Friday. Oh boy, morning. what's in your thermos? Yeah, uh, right. down. Uh, so, so, that, so now as, as, as we're here, folks, and you're listening to 21 6, uh, Bill, if people have questions uh, or they want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? Oh, uh, they could visit my website, uh, billsdecorating.com, or um, shoot us an email at uh, billsdecorating at comcast.net, um, or call us at 815-385-5357. Fantastic. Don, how about you? Uh, if anybody wants to reach out to me to buy or sell a home, <laughs> okay, great. you don't call Kent and don't even request him. You can reach me at 847- Four five six six three three four or rummer team eighteen at gmail.com or they can stop at my interactive kiosk. Oh, it's cool. At twelve eighteen cool. Green Street in McHenry. It is kind of cool. You need to. What about yeah. you? Uh, I prefer you don't. Uh, no, you can reach, reach me at Kent at 216thenet.com uh, for anything radio driven or if you've got a great show or podcast or you want to be a sponsor like uh, what's up on the wall behind us here. Uh, of course, Dream Home Ninjas airs uh, Fridays at noon. You would like those guys because it's a construction uh, plumber and a guy who owns a construction company and they nice. kind of demyth the DIY stuff too. Oh, so I love it. Uh, it would it'd be good. And we'll go ahead and put how to reach Bill up in the <clears throat> we'll comment section. Yeah. We'll do that. When our producer. Yeah, our producer comes, wakes up. Wakes up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Drinking too much margarita. <coughs> no way. Oh, Look, there it is. It is rolling across the ticker. Uh, public school. Sorry. There you Look go. at that. There Those it decorated. Oh, I don't remember. Look at that. He needs a raise. <laughs> yes. Get on that, will you? At <laughs> least yeah, spell checker work tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I told you this was just this was you so, didn't prepare for this. So yes, as 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 we talk about home improvements, okay. right? And and I uh, in my day job, of course, do mortgages uh, and, and sell money. And and Dawn, of course, uh, sells sells homes. She's one of the best real estate people in Northern Illinois. And, Thank you. And. Um, uh, Right now, it's an interesting thing. You and I were talking a little bit off the air is, you know, Don would say, hey, what are some things people can do to spruce up their house to sell? And I would say, well, what are some of the things they can do that maybe they they could spruce up their house or some some things that add some quick value or charm or or can change some things a little bit to where they go, no, nah, maybe I'm OK here for another year or two. Yes. <laughs> paint paint's paint. probably the easiest one most folks can okay. paint they can handle it they don't get in too much trouble with that um neutral colors are always nice is i, I prefer i have i have a, you have gray, a gray i've heard word on the street word on the agreeable street. gray it, it's a new gray That's by sherman new. williams it's, it's called a new gray oh. That's the oh. name of it. A new gray by Sherman Williams. <laughs> I am not working for Sherman Williams, but I will tell you, yeah. you paint your house with that color. We have named it Gold. Money Gray. Money Gray. It sells your house fast. A new gray. A new a gray. -N -E -W. It only works if you list with me, hmm. but it's the truth. Do your people huh. not know that you have a show at six on every It is. It's actually a, a client. Oh, do you need to take that? I, I would, but I, I mean, go I ahead and sell, sell a house. So painting, well, painting, <laughs> uh, yes. and 
is it is, do, do I do I do I and you're a decorator so do I swap all four walls the same color uh, I've seen uh, on uh, HGTV sure, maybe yeah. have a, a yeah. bright color on one wall where yeah. they call that an accent, accent. wall or something yep. right mm -hmm. um, do I use the blue tape or the green frog tape what, 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 uh, you the know, the, go? the blue tape is awesome. The green frog tape is probably a little more forgiving. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but it definitely will make you look like a better painter. So, yeah, I recommend that for sure. Um, good quality brush always helps. So if you're going to do it yourself, don't don't cheap out on your tools. That that definitely helps. Um, so the three dollar paintbrush. Probably so, not the yeah. sponges at the dollar store. Okay, wait, no sponges. I do have yeah. a very serious question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have been, did you sell honestly, that house? By the way, I almost. I have an offer coming. I ju maybe it'll be a sold. By I'm on a counter. <laughs> All right, this is a serious question. All right. <laughs> Don't laugh. There it goes. You know that tool that they sell all over as seen on TV, Here we where go. you can fill this long pole with paint, Ooh. and you can just go up and down and squeeze the paint up, and you yeah. never have to re you know apply it. Okay. Is it work? Does it work? You don't see any of those in my trucks. Yeah, okay, there's my answer. Okay. Last, last question. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for playing. You can Come on, try. You it. wanted to know that too. Uh, no, I, I no. think uh, I think I know somebody who tried one and it did not work. No, really? it kind of gets. Somebody everywhere. said it kind of drips out the side. It might work for like the first pass, and then yeah. Really? Now, yeah. can people suck at painting? Yes, because I yes. Do. This is why I've been in business thirty years. Uh, yes, yeah. plenty of people suck at painting. Right. There. My wife, on, my wife will not paint. let me touch a brush or yes. a roller. I, I am wrong. Right. Well, Seriously, and there's people terrible. that are pretty good at it, but they're not good enough at it to be efficient and make money at it. So right. those are the folks that should do their own painting at home. Yeah. That's good. But the people who suck. Why do mine it. always have droplets dried in it? Oof. Well, yeah, that's so yeah. All cats. Yeah, a lot of time on the cats. phone. So you're painting, you're answering a phone call, things right? dry up, things drip. Yeah. And how do you not get dog hair when your dog sheds? How don't, do you uh, yeah. vacuum maybe? <laughs> <laughs> now we need a housekeeper. Yeah. We'll bring a housekeeper <laughs> in, we'll clean. Vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> <you. Yeah. laughs> um dog hair, yes. Vacuum and wash your walls first. Wash My wife is an amazing See, painter. Yeah. Really? Does See? she want to work for Bill? No. She could. I, need I, the help. I tried yeah. I tried to get I tried to do that with her. She's actually done stuff in Windstone. As you yeah. can see, yeah. there are Look people that. that are very As good. You can see painting. here in the studio, the budget has afforded for no painting, no painting whatsoever. So I mean, in fact, you can see the whole so the last tenants were here. My, That's cool. yeah, my question would be is if you have like a half of a can or something, I mean, could you just come in and spread it on the wall? Uh, just be like, we oh, give them out as Halloween gifts. Is that come. right? That's how we empty the show. Yeah, that's another I good question. That. Thanks for go. bringing that up. Yeah, it's what, coming. Yeah. What do you do with the, that? quarter a can of paint you can't throw it out right? well we're sneaky that way see we we take we put a label on it with our company name and everything what room it was in what we date it and we go ahead give it to the homeowner let them keep right it. so what do i do with it as a homeowner keep i it. will tell you what you let dog with. tell the so get let rid me of it. share with you a uh, brummer team tip if you are planning on moving and you want to get rid of your paint whatever you can donate it to habitat for for humanity who will use it to decorate and paint the homes that they help build? There you go. Look at that. She's like a real uh, estate I've heard angel. You put cat, cat litter in it. Or... <laughs> kitty litter no. is very good. Yes. No. You can't kitty litter. Yeah. Listen, yeah. did you want to tell folks if you have any questions for Bill? Yeah. Come call on Don. in. Don't call me. <laughs> Steph, Don't call Stephanie. me. I'm busy. Go <laughs> ahead back? and post it. Um, nope, no, that's the same. But the same post. Yeah. So. Go ahead and write your questions, and Bill is here. Be part of the show. Be part of the Be show. Part, join here in. is your opportunity to talk yes, to one right. of the best contractors in here. Northern See, Illinois. Northern Sky, Illinois. Sky he is good. great and good. very busy. Yes. So, uh, busy. so for thirty years you've been in business. Yes. Um, you've uh, <clears throat> you've gone from from a, a one a one guy, one truck, one hammer, one. One nail bag to how many? How what size is your company? We now? have eight full time tradesmen wow. right now, um, secretary, and then we do have a couple college kids over for the summer season. Sure, wow, that's and great. Uh, it's a handful. HR is a department I had no idea I would be a part of. So yeah, hmm. difficult a, times for there. So yeah. now you've gone, you've gone from 
do you still, I mean, you still getting in there and getting dirty or are you out bidding jobs? And- I'm primarily the guy out bidding the jobs on the face you see. Yeah. Um, he the, is the, Bill. the guy you talk to on the phone, the guy who answers all your questions. And if you have any issues, I'm the guy you talk to. Um, occasionally I'll surprise my guys and actually show up and work for an hour and just let them know that I'm still real and that I still, yeah. you know, bleed. And I mean, you put the golf clubs down. Yeah. I set enough. the clubs down. Well, I was going to say, unplugged. how does that work for you though? Cause I want to know if it's different than how my company works because do people not want bill on the job? They, they hire you, they get right. your crew. Do they expect you to walk through the job? Do they expect how often do you have to walk through the job? It depends on the client, but my my two primary guys, my two superintendents, are rock stars. There's no way this happens without my two Give guys. Give a shout out. Who are they? Oh, Tom and David. These guys. They're, Tom and David. They're gold. They, they're Tommy's yeah. been with me. Six twenty. We know you're off the clock. Yep. You're you open your home with in. your wives. No, they're Tommy's at his uh, daughter's graduation today. Nice. Oh, um, but yeah, Tommy's been with me twenty nine years. <clears throat> uh, best man in my wedding. So we're we're pretty tight. We're a very tight knit group. Um, but these guys, they treat it like it's their own. And that's not, we're, we're there. We, we handle it. Uh, we eat our problems for breakfast. We don't let things linger. So that's that's, uh, that's how it goes. So we got a got a question in uh, in one of the uh, watch parties that I'm doing. Look at so that. Let's, uh, let's make fun of me. You, do you want to make fun of me some more? No, I'm going to sell the house while you So Derek Bear, Derek, uh, Derek works for Gold Shield. Yeah, uh, Derek. We Derek's love Derek. Derek's a good guy, right? Yeah. Derek asks, uh, what part of the house is your favorite to remodel? Really, Derek? Is it, I mean, are you a, are you an upstairs guy or do you prefer the basement? Oh, or, yeah. uh, uh, ba- are, bathrooms are our wheelhouse. That's, okay. uh, that's, that's where we are most efficient. Um, and it has the biggest impact. Um, we can take a, well, let's face it. Most bathrooms are the original in houses. People oh, are sure. afraid there's... to do them because there's a lot of moving parts and pieces to bathrooms. Most homeowners are afraid to touch plumbing. So we got to bring guys like Derek in. Um, electric. Uh, so those are the rooms that involve everything. They've got every trade in there, every, <laughs> they got it all. So um, tend to be the rooms that need the most skill set and the most uh, organized approach. So those are right. the ones we like to do the most. And as you're working, do you, do you and your guys come through the front door or the back? Oh boy. Yeah. You, that was coming. Is that, yeah, here we uh, go. HR. One trip to Florida, he's on the back Depends where the bathroom is. Seriously. I don't know. Depends where the bathroom is. Right? Seriously. Depends Depends <laughs> Uh, so we'll get memos out shortly. <laughs> so, so the real deal is, uh, oh boy. So my house, I have the garden. I've got a garden tub, right? So it, okay. it, it's see how we turn this about. It's again. shorter. Always. It's about. It's shorter and it yes. slides in, but then it's on an angle, right? So it's weird and it's baby blue. It's nineteen. It's a powder blue. Those are coming back. Are they coming yeah. back? Because no. my wife is like, we got to get rid of them. Like, <clears> it's such no. a weird size. Because it's it's shorter than a regular Retro tub. We just sold back. a whole green set. We took really? on it went like hotcakes. Yes. Yeah, the God toilet, bless. the sink, yes, the tub. It's true. He is true. It's no, crazy. Good. He speaks truth. Oh, oh there you go. He speaks the truth. Derek, um, did we answer your question? Yeah, hopefully we we uh, answered that for you. Um, what do you say to people who say you might be too busy? So there's another question that's out oh, here. Mm, uh, I'm getting that a lot. Yeah. Um, and we were talking a little bit about this in the green room before. In the green room. Yeah. Yes, the green room, which tragically is nowhere near green. But anyway. <laughs> no, 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 I'm colorblind. Yeah. You did the uh, yeah. in the corner? Yeah, you did. Oh, what I, well, what I try to do is encourage people to understand that there's peaks and valleys in construction. And, and you know, I. Obviously, the summer months are extremely busy for everybody in the construction industry. Yeah. So if your project can time out somewhere in the December, January, February, March range, not only do you get more availability of contractors, but you're going to get better pricing. Yeah. Um, so if you can, you know, hey, we want to start the conversation in June, July, kind of get our ducks in a row. We want to execute the project in January. Now you're getting our attention and not just me, but every other contractor out there, because right now we're trying to figure out how we're going to ask our guys to work 12 hour days, seven days a week. And we all know nobody wants to do nobody, that. Nobody, right? So, Stuff. Yeah. So, so as, as, as you're getting busier and busier and busier, um, and, uh, let's say you've lived in your house for 17 years. Okay. And what, what is, and, and you've remodeled the kitchen and you've, you've, uh, remodeled the basement 
And now you're thinking, should I move or stay? What's the next thing somebody should do uh, in that progression? What would it What would it be? The bathroom? Yeah. I mean, it's the first question is where What are your family needs? I mean, are the kids moved out at this point? Are the kids are they coming back home two with their spouses? Two still in. So yeah. So are we committing to staying? Or are we committing to downsizing? Yeah. You know, maybe we're having a conversation with Dawn. Right. We do get a tremendous amount of business from realtors because they're always in that scenario. But, you know, kitchens and bathrooms are always a great return on money. Yeah. Let's face it, a bedroom's paint and carpet and you're done. Um, kitchen, heart of the home, you know, after 17 years, you're probably ready for another kitchen yeah. remodel. So what's your what's your take on, uh, on, on you do flooring? I mean, do you we put do. a pergo or whatever yeah. that's called, laminate or whatever mm -hmm. it is? Yeah. Uh, what? What do you, do you prefer real hardwood floors or do you like the uh you know the trend in the 80s was the hardwood floors yeah. beautiful floor beautiful service looks great nowadays it seems to be more the vinyl plank oh yeah we see a lot of that going. are those really waterproof they're coming out with the 100 percenters right. yes we so have, if you uh, had a dog that had accidents back to the dog question or a yeah. husband or a husband who liquor. peed Sometimes when they drank the too depends. much uh, yes uh, alice asked me to ask that oh question. alice yeah. yes okay, dog <laughs> the dog so, okay. if you were drinking too much water the dog was and yes, in the right. middle of the night didn't make it to the bathroom <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm. could you replace that section of the plank floor alice yes. asked yes the vinyl planks the 100 percent waterproof planks you can take it unclick it wash it sterilize it whatever you want to do to it and reclick the homeowner it can it. actually do that yeah, it's fairly skilled homeowner could yeah depending where not it's at on the floor yeah. not Ken. no no probably not Ken. No. okay so really that's interesting alice maybe but not alice sure. probably could. alice could yeah, yeah. Alice probably she could. seems like someone who hi jemima and of course uh of course you're listening to 21 6 the net here at the bottom of the hour we've got uh bill Whitey from Bill's Decorating uh, here in studio with us. Across the table for me is Bremer. She's the host. I'm also the host. Hostess with the most. That's it. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> uh, just read her license plate. Oh, boy. And, uh, oh, right there, there we go. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so if people wanted to get in touch with you, ask you some questions, because what, what I really appreciate about you and your business, same thing that I really appreciate about Dawn and hers is you'd rather educate somebody. And, and, and let them make a good, proper decision, uh, as we've heard you say a couple times, the timeline, the horizons, things like that. And that's what I appreciate about you because because you're not just out there trying to sling a job. You, Correct. You want them to be able to sleep at night knowing that they've made the right decision. Mm -hmm. um, so you do a lot of educating. So if people have questions, they want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? Um, they could email me at uh, billsdecorating at comcast.net. Uh, or call me, 815-385-5357. Go easy. We're kind of crazy busy right now. Yeah. So if I don't, don't get back to you within the first 24 hours, give me a little time. Um, but, yeah, we're definitely <clears throat> big into the educating, big into helping you make an educated decision. 30 years of business, I'm proud to say I'm now working on third-generation family members. Wow, so that's nice. kind of really fun. Cool. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's kind of scary at the same time. But, yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, like we actually do have that. Hi, Tim. Tim, nice see you. How are you, brother? So I had a couple of people who asked me a few questions. Uh -oh. um, Wait, how do they get in touch with you? How are they oh, calling you? They're yeah, calling don't. me at 847-456-6334, brummerteam18 at gmail.com, or stop by my interactive kiosk at 1218 sure. North Green Street. And here's here's the good thing, folks, and all, all kidding aside is, um, if you're thinking about it, you've been in your home for 17 years, five years, your first home, you're looking to upsize, downsize. Uh, Dawn does a great job walking you through everything that you can possibly think of uh, to help you make that decision as well. And of course, you see she's got great uh, teammates uh, that she works with and, and can refer you to as well. So Thanks, um, all joking aside, it's worth at least a conversation if you're if you're not sure. And we get right? free home analysis. So if you want an idea yeah. whether you should fix your house or sell your house give me a call just went to a beautiful house on the water yesterday yeah. that's that's their purpose was to see how much was, was it worth or to yeah. fix and sell so it's on the waterfront it's not on the water i mean it was kind of is it a boat it's a boat okay so don i have a question a boat, yeah. Yeah. um there's a question out here uh don what do you look for in a contractor to work with oh dependability and reliability it's important for me um, it's important for me that they handle the whole job. 
yeah. from beginning to end and that they are have an open line of communication and education. As you said before, education is key for my business. And I think that when you educate what's happening and the steps and the process, mm -hmm. and if they have the patience to do that, that's what works really great for me. Yeah. Great question. Yeah. Yeah, good question. It kind of let, let me to one of the questions I had What somebody texted me was, do you get and handle all permits? Yes. So you handle all that. We do. Permitting can be a tricky maze mm -hmm. with any municipality, as we're finding. Um, they all are working on different code books. They're all on different pages. And then there's this thing called amendments. And they make their own amendments now. And so for us, it's an education with every town we work in that if we know we got a big project coming up, we'll literally go in and have a meeting with the inspector. And if I can get them out to the site, to walk it with the homeowner and myself, it's very educational that way too, because you just never know what they're going to ask you. So it's best right. to just, hey, we're in your sandbox, tell us what the rules are. And then it works really good that way. That's great. You ever get that wedding ring caught on something and you lose your finger? Yes, this is actually a bionic finger. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Luke Skywalker. Yes. Anyway, bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other yeah. question, I have two more questions. <laughs> this one is twofold is do you really have a dedicated team when they do your when you go to somebody's house do you have the same dedicated team that will come back oh, that's a great question. absolutely yeah. yes so you're familiar with you're them. assigned yeah. one of my crew leaders um but yeah you'll see the same faces from start to finish i'm there to introduce you to them do the meet and greet um and then one of the guys will take it from there uh, i'll be popping in back and forth yeah. which if is you, important i think it's important Didn't yeah to cut you absolutely. off but i think that People want to see the, the head honcho in charge, making sure everything is going to spec. Yeah, you not only get to see me in charge, but you get to see me bringing materials when my crew leaders demand me run them errands and so bring them coffee. Boy. And so yeah. Yeah. As any small business owner knows, you are chief mm -hmm. cook and bottle Which, washer. Which, you said the word so. coffee. Here's the question. Oh, boy. People are in your house. Yes. They are working for eight hours a day in your house. Mm -hmm. Homeowners feed you. Is that allowed? Can they feed you? Can they give you drinks? Can they take oh, care of yeah, you? Can they, they butter you up? Oh, they do. Yes. Yes. I've come on jobs to see my guys sitting around a breakfast table with a full breakfast spread. And, yeah. and they just look at me like, she made us eat all this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you can certainly win the hearts and minds of my guys by feeding them. That's Absolutely. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And yes. the last question is, the dedicated team, if you have them, do they clean up and what kind of cleanup do they have? Cleanup is paramount in our our first step. I mean, a great example. If we're working in your bathroom on the other side of the house, first thing we do, shoes off, we put drop cloths down all the way from the front door to the project location. Then we put up our dust poles, dust isolation and containment. That's amazing. And then depending on the size of the project, we'll run one, two, maybe three HEPA air scrubbers to help contain wow. any airborne dust. Dust. Wow. Dust is the worst. You do not want us you have putting that on every dust. Job? Every job. Okay, let's just That's we need incredible. to we need to reiterate that. Yeah. Say that one more time. <laughs> every job. No. <laughs> every job you put what? HEPA air scrubbers on there. So what it does, it'll turn the air over depending on how many how many we're running, but we can turn the air over sixty times an hour and, and process it and filter it out and exit the air outside. The house so if you were in the kitchen you're doing a kitchen remodel and right. it had two entrances to the kitchen mm -hmm. they're both blocked off with yep. heavy duty we'll put up our zip walls we have magnetic door catches so when we come and go we create a negative air environment so any air that's coming in the house is wow. exiting out of the house so it's surgical conditions basically we we do have clients that have asthma i myself have asthma so i, I totally too. respect that um I, I had one client that was like this is a black mm -hmm. piano I do not want to see a speck of dust on my piano. At the end of the job, you'll get a thousand dollar tip if I do not see a speck of dust. He gave every one of my guys a thousand dollar tip. Wow. And we were in that house for two months. Wow. That was a nice deal. And my guys learned the importance let of me that, tell that you, day. There was, there was no dust on my piano. No. Big roller here, cash money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, dust, that dust is, is key. Like I am a big huge, pianist. That's right. Yes. Oh, for God's sakes. HR. Uh, HR. Ding. Please. <laughs> Somebody corral this oh, guy. Back to our uh, sponsors. Uh, we'll, start, uh, <laughs> we'll start an investigation shortly Please. after the I show. I need a co-host taking applications. Oh, my goodness. Me. It was 34 um, minutes into the show. When Kent was asked um, to leave. Getting, and then also, we, we do try to be sensitive to people have allergies and various things. There's different paints we can use that are a little more environmentally friendly. 
Um, back the old school, we used a lot of oils and urethanes. They were just completely obnoxious. So if I know I've got clients that are sensitive to that, we can use more of the waterborne products and things that aren't awesome. as you know, nasty smelling. Awesome. So here's here's something as well, folks, as, as you're thinking about uh, possibly uh, doing some remodeling or updating to your home is uh, there are several ways to, um, to finance it. So you can take a look at doesn't have to be as grand as as refinancing your mortgage, but you might be able to get a, a home equity line of credit. You offer uh, yes. some financing we options do. as well. We do have some. We've teamed up with Service Financial, and they do uh, specific construction related mm -hmm. loans. Um, you know, five hundred up to twenty five, thirty thousand dollars for various projects. Yeah. Pretty simple application process. I think it's about ten minutes on the phone, and they let you know if you're approved right then and there, and it's very quick, very efficient. Nice. Or we can see That's pretty great. Yeah, it definitely helps. Or you can visit me at Blackhawk Bank. Um, <laughs> First how $5 do is you free. deal <laughs> with additional charges that may come up? Well, in any remodeling project, there's always going to be something. <clears throat> so what we do is we try to be as upfront and honest about everything that's going on. So say we, we open a wall up and there's just a hornet's nest of bad wiring. You know, Derek from Gold Shield would be very much like, Bill, what do we do? We got it. We got a change order coming up here. So a little plug for Derek. That's it. Um, we definitely get the homeowner involved and we explain to him what we found, what's happening. We discuss pricing options. We discuss solutions. There's never a at the end of the job. Oh, by the way, here's your surprise extra. Yeah. That doesn't work. Got it all done for you. 10,000 more than you were thinking. Yeah, sorry, so we we're a little over budget. Yeah. Seriously. And we need to give a little plug here to our friend Jemima, yeah. who I guess you've done a lot of plumbing jobs with them. And Good. Yes. Jemima and her husband have an awesome Joseph. plumbing business. They uh, they definitely take care she of it. Liberty. Is my referral source, too. She's, she's amazing. And they, they do. takes great care of our clients. Yes. So. They are very and kind. Until she starts everybody. paying for advertising, we're not going to say that yeah. it's Liberty Oak at all. One Liberty. more shout out, to my mind. We'll wait. Never. Do you, she does not uh, <laughs> participate with Liberty Oak plumbing. Right, that's right. Um, <laughs> the other thing I want to ask. No, I wouldn't even know anything about that. No, no I don't know Liberty Oak plumbing. Liberty Oak plumbing. I don't even know where they are. I don't right even know where Liberty right. Oak plumbing is. Probably doing a crazy um, job right now. Derek says thanks for the plug. Seriously. Talk about surprise bills coming up. That's right. Yes, back to surprise bills. We won't also talk about Tim Santos from Health Markets. Well, Tim is on the show. Tim is amazing. Tim is amazing. Tim does a great job as well. And of course, Stephanie Conley from. That's all your bookkeeping Which, needs. by the way, I understand she's doing something with the McHenry Chamber, so you should all tune into that. That sounds very exciting. That is um, going back to not plugging any of these people we no, know. No, nobody would. Um, right. We would like to also ask the last <laughs> question, is what kind of warranty do you offer? Depending on the size and scope of job, we have a minimum... <laughs> it's totally just turned into HR. You. <laughs> <laughs> so size and scope, uh, minimum of a one-year warranty. We do offer extended two and three-year warranties. Um, of course, all the manufacturer's warranties are intact depending on what products we use. And we make an effort if we're installing a Marvin door or Anderson or whatever, we make sure the manufacturer's warranties are filled out and ready and in place for the customer. Really? So, so. so let's go back to the bathroom. <clears throat> Oh God, he's obsessed. What, he's what is his blue house. bathroom? What is, what is a big don't? Right. So right now, one of the big cool things is the twenty-two person walk-in shower. Yes, the party with shower. Steam and yes, jets throwing in from like a car wash. Right. Yes. What it? What is? What are? So as you're looking at somebody, and it's a one and a half bath house. What is a big don't? So the big trend I see in these party showers or walk-in showers is the body sprays. They're, they're, I take a lot of them out after about a year because they, they say they're just not using them. Huh. And I find it surprising because it's kind of a cool concept to just do walk in, do the car wash spin, and you're done. Huh. But it doesn't seem as though people are using them as much as they thought they would. Yeah. Yeah. But... Um, Body spray positioning, um, I've seen some bad ones where they're shooting the, against the glass and they're creating leaks. Oh, um, or they, or their house just simply can't handle the water pressure and yeah. they don't do enough plumbing reduction or putting enough accelerator uh, 
to get the pressure built up yeah. for the body sprays to function. So there's there's been just some technical problems with those that people just don't foresee, and then that's when we get the call to come in and remodel their bathroom and fix those kind of things. So a don't would be the big mega spray car wash. Right, but there's nothing wrong with a big shout. Or the rain heads, those are pretty yeah, cool. Are people cool. love those. Um, I just went to, a, I was at a hotel in Ohio at the Marriott AC in Dublin. I guess I'm plugging everything right now. Yeah, you are. And Dublin, they had world a great traveler. shower that was a shower head, like mm -hmm. a big rain shower. Yeah. And then you could flip a switch and it had a handheld. And it, I was like, that is a great, I, that I liked. The, a big one, a big ups I see is they put the shower, they make the shower so big and they don't, don't locate the shower bench close enough to be able to sit on the shower bench and do the leg shaving routine. They're kind of running a little short on the, the rope. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's so an interesting a little thing. logistical yeah. problem. Or the back or the back for all you men. You can shave. Or your shaving so. of your back. Yeah. yeah. The razor on the wall thing. Yeah. So <laughs> in fairness I can't because I have a nice long back shaver on a stick. So See? I'm thinking yeah. it's a shaver on a stick. Yeah. I do. Shut up. They don't make those. They do. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, See, why do you think I always wear long sleeve shirts and <laughs> button down? I have never seen that in a store. Uh, my Somebody wife, help me. <laughs> my wife picked it up at Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> if any man out there would like to shave their backs for that special if occasion. Yes. Yeah. No. No, I mean, if you're aggressive with it, I suppose yeah. it could. Like but most seriously things. not a conversation. I'm so I'm aggressive. Uh, yeah, that's God. next week's show. <laughs> yeah. I was just so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are we back to the show here? Yeah, so, come back. so in all honesty, folks, uh, I don't in your bathroom. It's a long handled back shake. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to leave that on your first date out here. <laughs> don't leave that. Uh, yes. it, it does work very well, though. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mm -hmm. have seriously, I am old and I just learned <clears throat> this for the first time that they really oh, have this. Hold well, on. Uh, yes, wow. it's long. It's, yeah. Well, it's you're home real thing. with Bremer and Jen. <laughs> yes. By the way, all your real estate needs. <laughs> Uh, every back yeah. Christine <laughs> Broskowski Ditzler does say, "Hi guys, love Bill's decorating. We send our clients to him all the time." Oh, Aww, thank you, Christine. She you uh, uh, well, we're we run watch parties left oh. and right in here. Oh, wow, wow. So, so, she's got a private number I all of a sudden. Thanks, Christine. Yeah. So, oh, so gave us a compliment. Yeah. What did she Here. say? She said, I can't even um, see it. You guys are all amazing and always take care of people first. Thank you. Aw, thank you. Jemima. Somebody take a screenshot of that and send it to my wife. And no, right. Yeah. Can you put that as a review? Yeah, selfless on my plug. That's right. Yeah, yeah, can I get yeah. one of those two, please? please? Five steps, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> or something. So, so as we, as we, uh, it, you've been doing this for so long, is there anything that just bores you about the job? <laughs> I mean, really, right? 30 years is a long time to be, to be doing is. something. It is. And, and do you um, just go, oh, God, oh, this again? Well, I mean, if anybody's anybody's done a job that long, there are just certain tasks you're just yeah. tired of. Um, I mean, it keeps me going. The people, just going to new people every day, seeing new homes, seeing new ideas. I, I'm starting to feel a little bit like a dinosaur, though, because, you know, some of this technology and stuff, oh, yeah, yeah. and I'm a lot of my clients, Cats and they're, and things, yeah. yeah. That was the question I was going to ask you, talking about that. What about people who want to have high-tech stuff done? That's what yeah. you talk What do you do with shield. that? Is we, that when you talk to uh, Derek at he, Gold Shield? Oh, that Derek and his high-techiness, yes. Um, we take yeah. donations, Derek, yes. Jemima. So my and, claim to fame is I'm not the smartest kid in the room. <laughs> We're throwing so much <laughs> stuff out there. You think That's we get a hat? Have on next. Maybe he can bring us some swag. Yeah. yeah. Free air conditioning. Yeah. What did you bring us? What yeah. swag did you bring? I brought us? you this half drink bottle of water. Look at this. I mean, Tim Santos gave us cooking. What well, he gave me. What you bring? I still have not gotten my cooking stuff, Tim Santos. Look at that back. This does not hold a razor, yes. but it, <laughs> you could. But we could glue on a lady to pick on that thing. He, You'd be in business. Likes, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember him saying he was going to give me my... Oh, oh look at this. You. There it is. Do you remember him saying he was going to give me my Let's recipe keep it sticks stuck that he gave you? Yeah, yeah, did you ever get them? Uh, no. Hey, Tim Santos. And here home. I am, scratching my own scratching back Scratching your back, you scratch ours. Yeah, That's Tim. All I'm you're home right. with Reverend Jones. You owe us some swag. I'll get this. All right, fine. Swag it is. <laughs>
Yeah. So, drop off. Um, now that I know where, where your lair is. This is like a total off the wall thing. Where are well, we at now? Where were we? You know oh, what? board task. Yes. Because yeah, because when you're when you're home, and that's the whole idea of this show is we want you to feel comfortable. And we want to give you some information, and 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 of course, bring in the professionals. Uh, you know, and so people can say, "Wow, I." Glad I didn't see you on that show. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that one. The video uh, part of the show. But yeah, so good. so there are some things. There are some things where you just look and go, "Oh God, yeah, seriously." He's not going to say that. I'm going to advise as his counsel yeah, to not you. answer that question. Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Sixth Sixth Amendment. Amendment. Whatever, whatever I need to cover. That's the one scenario. he can answer. Please don't answer that. Well, not. Tell all right. So what's the, what's the one on the other on on the converse of that? You're always like, "Yee hoo! All right, giddy up!" Well, there are it's there are days like anybody. You get you know you get a little bored with the situation, yeah. but you just got to reinvent and understand that it's really about the people, and that's kind of the new dynamic you come across every day: is new people, new project, new home. I'm not in the same office every day, so right? And I think that's I, the I, nice part. I would think because of your ability to decorate and get people to dream and see, uh, and then yeah. and then to see it finished. So just to watch their their face go, huh, huh, oh, 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 we love it, right? Yeah, the creative I mean, process. Yeah. I mean, we we were able to. We, we had a couple, the the wife wanted to give up her walk-in closet for a walk-in shower. Wow. And she was very bummed that she was going to have to scale back her closet. And we were able to kind of convert two larger bedrooms and take a little from each and flip that into her new closet. And it was just like she won the lottery. Oh, shit. Was, she was just That's that kind of a great half little camper I've ever seen and to this day when we run into her at the store she just high five me and still loves it I love it so that was a really yeah. fun aha moment and that kind of recharges the batteries sure. of cool. all of the coolest things I've seen lately that people have been doing is putting islands in their closet yeah yeah you gotta have the room but I mean that's pretty cool the shoe rotisserie is the latest What's thing that? greatest. it holds 75 pairs of shoes what does it look like it's a full it's an eight foot tall lazy susan with about seven layers and you put your shoes on it big hit with the ladies although i do have a couple guys that collect gym shoes that have wait, wait, wait. Used them so yet. and you do is it spin like it's it? it's literally like a lazy susan and you put it in the corner and jason from chicago closets could probably help you with why is, why is this such a hard concept for you to pick up? I don't know I, why. Shoe carousel. I want yeah. literally. Shoe carousel. Yeah. Literally. Like I can't even picture it. You two could have one. I mean, this Jason. Is, this is a yeah, Jason, back. where are you at on this? Jason, gotcha. where's our closet guy? We Jason. have given out so two rubber many. bands and a lady bick, and you're in business. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we, uh, listen, uh, we got to quit giving shouts out to your friends we got to stop in, this. in your little Nonsense. referral groups because we will not ever have any type of income coming in at the station uh, for advertising they're part of my a team these are my peeps yeah, i understand it done the thing, though, but you, yeah. you know here on your home with bremer and john here we go again another shameless plug i don't notice bremer's first we give a lot of referrals to all these people because we they do. are quality amazing people who they do are. great jobs for my clients which allows me to sell my house they are. See, they're wonderful. Good people. Tend and to attract those people, people could take advantage of remarkable advertising opportunities right here on 216 The Net. There it is. Hey, opportunities Steph's that right will never us. break the bank. Oh, Steph's Steph's books all hail service. Steph's. So, all hail Steph. That. You do egress windows? Yeah, uh, sure. We've got Liz, Liz out there wants to know. Maybe you could click on that so she could get a little bit of well, 10, 10 little, seconds. Well, we got Liz. Uh, oh, do you do Liz. egress Hi, Liz. windows? Look how pretty she is. That is that a nice Liz. picture, but never trust a man in a bow tie. Oh, that, I mean, that's that. true. You wear them all the time. I know. Just saying. I'm speaking <laughs> the truth. Yes, we do have the technology to do egress windows. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, egress is a type of a bird. Yes, small birds, small big bird, beak. Yes, big beak. Mm -hmm. and they're in the window. You see, there are a lot of times they're in the window. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of windows, the question for you is: Do you believe in window covers for basement windows? Yes, of in the, most scenarios, I yes, do. For basement wells. Why? Well, there's a couple different things. Um, if some are security, you can do the metal bar ones for security because that is one of the easiest access points to your house. So for how do you get out? And if you need to get out. They do have a, a latch where you can pop the lock and go up that way on yeah. egress windows. Did you yes. see how he demonstrated that? Well, we do have a pop. TV video. You know, I've been going the to the gym a little, so I thought I'd throw that out for <laughs> Phil. You know, <laughs> Phil Muscle Beach Phil. Oh, but anyway, um, the plastic covers are good. They, uh, 
are we talking specifically over the egress windows or are we talking over just any window well? just any window well i've wondered that keeping it keeps a lot of leaves and debris out um keeps the rain out some people do have a problem with keeps the rain the raccoons out raccoons mm -hmm. Um, although if there's daylight issues, you know, there's different translucent covers or you do the metal kind of, uh, great looking covers. So do you yeah. do uh, tuck pointing. We do have a team member that does tuck pointing. Yes. Think of me as ringmaster net. I call in the specialists and they all do their thing. Fair enough. So. Okay, and so how do people call you? 815-385-5357. That. Thank you. There it is. Right yes. There. Super yes. slow. Yes. So Liz asked, do you do egress windows? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we talked about the egress no. and their migration <laughs> across northern Canada. <laughs> I mean, I, first of all, I would like to apologize for the way for, that my co-host uh, has, uh, well, has gone off the rails. Uh, one week of vacation. Seriously. You gotta settle me back. We do day. have a rather off-the-wall question. Oh, to me, it's an off-the-wall. Oh, uh, so if you go into a remodel situation, a very old home perhaps, and what do you do if they don't tell you up front that the home tends to reflect something of being haunted? <laughs> do, do you walk off the job or do you finish the job if That's weird things start to happen? Oh, we're game. Bring it. Yeah, that'd yeah. be fun. Yeah. I mean, I had. We, I we have had some. Houses. Yeah, we've had some weird stuff happen, but we're we actually going to have a show. Yeah. The uh, haunting? No, with a uh, with a medium. It's gonna be great on Saturday We do Saturday have a medium mornings. show. Yeah, no, nice. Saturday morning. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah so it would be. Yeah, that, yeah. It, it would depends how freaky it is. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not opposed to giving somebody their money back for a good terrifying scare. Right. right. <laughs> so you basically just said, ask to do a remodel job, scare me, and you'll get. You get, and money. it's free, pretty much. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty much. You got to remember, I see a lot of folks at the early morning hours, so there's not yeah. a lot that That's scares true. me anymore. Okay, let's get that one question. You know, you got to ask. Have you ever gone to a job? And the people there forgot you were coming. Oh yeah. Oh God, give us a good one. <laughs> no, Come I on. can't. That's where I went. Seriously? <laughs> so on. I was uh, I was going over to the Smith side. Whoops! I mean, uh, we'll call them the, the Joneses. <laughs> we did have the police called on us once. We were oh uh, we were doing a work on a condo, and they all look alike, as you know. And my guys went to the wrong address. Well, there was a north, <laughs> and there was a south, south. Oh, and the same gosh. number. What were they doing? To it was them? just a simple little paint job. A little paint a bathroom. Did you have to thing. paint the whole bathroom? Yeah, so it was just a simple little job. So I, you know, Google gave them the map quest address. The the homeowners were like, Yeah, great, no problem. We'll, you know, here, come on in. And they left the door open for us and everything. And so the door wasn't open. So my guys were like, you know, knocking on the door and you know, kind of trying to open the door. And as they're calling me, the police show up. And I'm like, oh boy, what address are you guys at? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the people inside were absolutely terrified. Yeah. That they thought we were breaking in at you know eight o'clock in the morning where oh, a bunch of criminals so abroad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that does happen in Condoville where they all look the same. Yeah, I can only imagine that, stuff, that. So yeah, yeah, yeah Derek, come on by. Derek, right. come on by. Ooh, next what? week, next week, Derek, come on in. We'll get you guys on the show. Is he already yeah. saying that now? Yeah, says we need to. Oh, now, he, what kind of swag is he going to yeah, bring? Yeah, Derek, from? we will have you on the show next Tuesday at six o'clock, but we expect swag. Air conditioning systems for Tim all my friends. Santos, Mr. Derek. Back scratcher. Bar's not that high, brother. Back scratcher. I mean, that's what I think we should do is we should demand Bring the back swag. shaver. Kent's looking I for a back shaver. I don't, I don't think we have the right to do that. But yeah, you do. Hey, not? You're not sanctioned here. You can ask yes. whatever you want. I think it's a new thing. Derek, is, sure. please respond, Derek, Sounds with good. the swag. Is yeah. he bringing it? He's a, I'm on vacation. <laughs> So you can't come next Tuesday, great. I mean, Sorry. you're not charging Thanks, for Eddie, these Eddie spots. Martinez so. there. Good, good to have you with us, brother. All right. Hey, Eddie. Little shout out to All my right, boys. If you, we have just a few minutes left. If oh. you could give any advice to any homeowner on the number one thing they should do to get their house uh, ready to sell, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good one. Ready to sell. Are we on a budget on this request, or sure? Give us a low budget and give us a high budget. Uh, paint, paint, okay. paint, paint it, clean it, and vacuum it. Get the dog hair out. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to smell your house when I walk in. One hundred percent. So many people go nose blind if that's a term. Um, trim your bushes. Get your trees and bushes off your house. And once again, HR is back. Okay. <laughs> and we're back to scratch. You'll sell back. your house a lot quicker <laughs> with a good trim bush. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All righty then. Yeah. 
I'm just, I'm going to, I'm not a realtor. I'm just saying, <laughs> he's just spitballing here. Oh I think that, uh, so no, many, so many phrase out. Oh, somebody, yeah. somebody them up good. Somebody yeah, yeah. Them up. You can't yes. lay that out. Oh yeah, you can't lay it out there for him. <laughs> Our HR guy is doesn't even know what to do now. <laughs> oh my lord! I'm just gonna be my new tagline. So, so paint, paint, vacuum, and trim your butt. Yeah, fresh and right that here, up. <laughs> right here with. The we don't want to smell the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right with the brimmer too. <laughs> so, you do egress windows. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah. Is it out of here? I'm oh, sweating. my mother in law's going to be calling. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. Uh, next, next. Oh my God. Okay. In six months. What? Next <laughs> up on the show. Why did Bill's Death Ready go out of business? They after crashed. 30 years. Yeah. After 30 years. <laughs> he had pro protesters out there. You're, you're, you're home. You're home. With, with home. And Jones. With Jones and Jones. <laughs> you're, gone. you're home. Gone. Your home is no longer there. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, my stomach! So we got about five minutes, and, oh, good. and oh, we God. talked a little bit about this. Uh, and, and this is <laughs> and this everybody's is, dying. I'm dying. Like, I don't oh, know if I'm God. coming back. You guys uh, are dirty. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the one who said it. I, you repeated it. I'm a good little Catholic boy. I shouldn't <laughs> be in this crowd. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Trim one bush. I put it in over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, boy. One more time, Bill. If people want yeah. to get a hold so, of you, I can't even no, look at you. No, no, don't call so me. You no. like, <laughs> so you like the hardwood floors then? <laughs> I'm going to stick with a good hardwood <laughs> floor. Oh, Move away God. from All right. So Ooh. I'm going to a serious note, though, folks. So let's, let's all come back together. <laughs> Um, on a serious note, <laughs> okay. Here, here's the tough thing, right? Is, yeah, is yeah. You've been doing this for thirty years, and 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 you're a master. You're master at your skill. They right? claim that, yes. And schools, uh, high schools, middle schools, uh, they mm. are uh, eliminating shop classes and and these type of of skilled labor type classes because they want to cut budgets and things like that mm -hmm. so what do people really have to watch out for now in today's world that perhaps they didn't you know 30 years ago when you started oh boy the talent pool and the skill level has dropped off significantly just tremendously tremendously um we definitely have a deficit of young people getting into the trades going through the tra training programs, going through apprenticeships, apprenticeships yeah. and learning. Um, a lot of people are just jumping into it. Um, I mean, let's face it, you can be a painting contractor with one trip to Home Depot and a business card. Boom. And a lot of that is what I compete against every day. Um, yeah, I mean, the, definitely the talent pool and the skill set has fallen off tremendously a ton. So when you're interviewing a contractor treat it as such you know ask the questions are you insured can i see your insurance certificate call the insurance company and ask them if it is a legitimate insurance certificate well, that's a great point a lot of people print one off and they cancel the policy the next day you don't know that by looking at the certificate you just until, see that it's good and if it's a legit certificate there'll be a phone number on it and you can call and say hey are these guys legit? And they can tell you that is wow. a real thing. That um, That's crazy. You know, a, a lot of municipalities now are circumventing that with bonding. So if you got wow. a contractor and he tries to tell you, you get the permit, you get it. He's afraid of he's not insured to get a bond. <laughs> Still laughing so, the bush. you know, no, no, some you know, landscapers who trim bushes have just, to be bonded now. I really want you to know, I seriously <laughs> just got a text. Can you ask him if he trims beavers? <laughs> That's a good book. Uh, is there a book. name on that? Because that might be one of my associates. <laughs> you got that book, yeah? Oh, my right? God. Oh, for the right price, anything's possible, That's I right. suppose. So. so Oh, sharpen up the shears. So, uh, so I, I think that's important too, and, and and that's where you see so many people losing money. Or oh man, he, he wanted three quarters of the money up front, and he and then nothing happened, and now I'm out my money. I can't get in touch with this guy. Yeah. But you have to be very careful. And I like what you said is you need to. You can't just pick up the phone book anymore and just say let me call you and come do it. You really hit. There's an interview process. Talk to these people. Really right. get some references. Get. Get some, you know. I never would have thought to call the insurance. Well, nobody does. Never, never in a lifetime. Never thought of that. Never in a lifetime. Right, and and 
having been doing this a while and I, I work for the parents, obviously, and this was, you know, 20 years ago, I worked right. for the parents. Now I'm working for the kids and the kids have the internet and they're cranking, they want 10 bids and they don't care who it is or who it is. Yeah. The parents would interview and if they didn't get a warm, fuzzy feeling about the person standing in their house, they didn't want you in their house to work with them. Kids today hiring us, they don't even care who you are, but you're around their worldly possessions and around their children. Right. That music means we've got a run. We've got 10 seconds Woo. for uh, 21 6 and that. This has been your home with Remmer and Jones. And of course, thank you, Bill Whitey, for coming in from Bill's Decorating. Really appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for check having out, me. Check him out. If you need work done, get all this guy's amazing. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> and we.